Welcome into my channel video. Uh, glad you're joining me today. Today I'm going to be taking a look at using IP webcam off of a cell phone and getting it into OBS Studio. And as you can probably tell from the computer behind me where I've got OBS running, and by the way, this is a, a pretty fast computer, you know, lots of memory cores, lots of RAM, the whole nine yards. I can give you the specs if you want. Um, but it's a pretty hefty one. We're looking way back in time, um, significantly back in time. And so IP cameras are great for certain things, but if you're trying to use it as a webcam, you're going to have some major latency issues to deal with. Um, in fact, this is the cell phone that I'm using right now. It's a Galaxy S9. I'm using the IP webcam app. Um, it's a free app. It's pretty cool, you know, pretty straightforward. Um, and I'm going pretty much straight from the webcam across my building's network and directly into OBS Studio. And as you can see again, we're really looking back in time. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. But let me kind of show you how I have this set up first and we'll kind of talk some latency things as we go. So, oh, in fact, here I am starting the video, 54321. How about that? Exciting. So, to set up a source in OBS Studio as a webcam, what I've done, one of the biggest things you're going to be dealing with is audio, making sure that your audio and video are synced. So IP webcam gives, gives me the ability to do an RTSP feed, which is a real-time streaming protocol, H.264, that has everything tied together. Now, right now I've got a two megabit buffer on here. What the buffer is, I'll, I'll lower it down so you'll see, this is how much OBS kind of records before it plays it. So the more buffering you have, the bigger the delay. Um, if I go with zero, you can see it's trying to change over. get itself cut back up, you can see the, you know, sometimes it's just not able to do it, so it really needs a little bit more of a buffer in it. Um, you can see, in fact, the data drop out, and again, this is inside of a building, just coming across Wi-Fi with a network connection on this computer. So um, quality is definitely much lower. Um, the latency is a lot lower, as you can see, you know, we're only about a second or two behind now, um, but that quality is just not acceptable. So I would need to come back in and change the network buffering size up for it. Now there is another way that you can do this. Um, I can do a separate video and audio stream, but the problem is that kind of gets into having some different plugins and you know VLC and stuff like that. So if you want to fight with different plugins, VLC, Media Player, and others, you know you can do that. But just generally coming straight in with H.264 audio. In fact, you can see it's still having an issue buffering up with that. Um, let me see if I can go back to this. Yes, there I am um, in very pixelated living color. Um, so you can see the, the network buffering needs to be a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna put, punch it up to one megabit, one megabyte and see if, that, uh, see if that helps. And it should, even though I've told it to reconnect, you can see it's rebuffering. So it's gonna be a few more seconds behind once it starts. There it is. Um, and so again, it's just, you know, it's great for certain applications. You know, if you need um, a feed from a different building or something like that, where latency may not be an issue. And again, latency is the delay. Um, and you can see the, you know, the heavy delay in this. We're probably up to about five or six or more seconds of delay, and that's just not really acceptable for a Zoom call. You know, Zoom does a pretty good job of trying to kind of take the built-in webcam delay out, um, so that everybody feels like they're more or less speaking at the same time. Um, NDI, Nutex NDI, is a way that uh, you can kind of get around some of these latency issues because it's designed more as a low latency issue or a low latency application. But IP webcams are pretty much, here's your stream. You know, we're just going to broadcast this out. Um, we're going to just send a stream and, you know, enjoy it. Uh, and, you know, that's not really acceptable in webcam world because, as you can see, it's taking a little bit for the stream to catch up to me. And in fact, I have a second webcam or a second cell phone back here. Um, and you can see it's, it's pretty significantly behind um, from way back when. So let's go back to the one that, and this one is, um, so you really do, when you're, when you're dealing with IP webcams, you've really got some latency issues you're gonna have to deal with. Uh, different apps may have different ways of dealing with this and you can pay subscriptions to try and get, you know, broadcast direct to their server and deal with some latency issues that way. 
But anytime you're going across networks back and forth like that, you're going to add a little bit of delay to it. So um, IP webcams, you know, somebody asked for this, this method to be used for uh, OBS Studio and a few others um, in a previous video on my channel. Um, and so I explored it. And again, it just doesn't seem to be the answer for using a cell phone in Zoom application. Uh, Zoom doesn't natively accept IP webcams. Um, you know, there are again some plugins and things that you can trick and do, um, but you're still probably going to be dealing with some latency issues. So, a um, bit of a disappointment, um, I know, but you know, um, sometimes, you know, our best laid plans, uh, we have to make adaptions. And so, IP webcam, like I said, is great if you need an outdoor shot of some place or something from a different building where latency may not be an issue and you can kind of get by with, you know, the couple of seconds here and there. So, um, but, you know, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments or email me um, and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, and again, you know, this has been kind of fun to explore just how far behind and back into the future and in the past I can look on IP webcams. So thank you again and hope you enjoyed the video.